back to Crisis Monday. Today I'm going to show you guys what we got in our Bricks and Minifigs haul. Lego Man Studios, would you like to start? Sure. Um, I'm going to start with the three minifigures that I picked out. I got this dude, this guy, and this guy. But he did not come with that steel pot helmet. I got that with something else. He actually came. I'll go ahead and take that off for now. This red mohawk thing. Pretty cool. I just kind of like it. Like, I didn't really plan. Like, you never really plan to get, like, the minifigs here. You just really kind of plan to get their supplies. Like, you just, how much stuff can you pile on a minifigure and take it with you? And the, these are my three minifigures that I got in the box of surprises. Alright, and now I'm going to show off my three minifigures in the box of surprises. Like, Lego Man Studios said. Oh, no, that's not one. It's basically just whatever can you cram onto one minifigure that you can fix or adjust when you get home. The only person I didn't really fix or adjust is this dude. Um, he's got a uh, res um rescue thing. That I've seen that. Looks like a pretty cool shirt. Um, he's got an oil canister for some reason. He's gonna save the trucks. <laughs> and he's got a medical thing there. Then there's this dude. My favorite thing about him is probably the face. It just looks really cool, like he's um, kind of like a super military spy thing. And then there's this suit, of course. This is very crude, but I just love the face. I never, I always, um, when I saw this, I thought someone had painted on the face, but then I'm like, oh, that's a real face. So, and then I'm just going to show you what I got this wand for is for my Majesto wizard, because he never came with the wand, so, and, uh, <coughs> I also used, uh, can you hold this second to you? I also used this shirt, and, for Fred, one of Timmy's friends, if you've seen Mega Man Studios mascot, it's Timmy, and this face went on, like, that, because I, looks kind of like a super soldier, because he's got tubes going into him and stuff, and, my last thing from the from my haul was, you probably saw this yesterday in my set review. It's this um, tri-wheeled Tyrax. I don't really know what that means. It's from Blacktron. I got this. It was basically a steel. Let's just put this back in. Bricks and Minifigs is awesome. If you want to go check that out, they've got cool stuff for reasonable prices. And so just go check that out. It's really awesome. Here I got two of my custom German minifigures. The torsos and the vests I had and this guy's head I had. The only thing that I really picked up were their guns, uh, some of the faces, and helmets. So I thought they were pretty cool. Members of the SS, Special Forces, Special Services. Really like these two guys. You should uh, check out my channel. I have them in my army video. And then next, I have actually a bunch of stuff. It's not even all of it yet. But, like, I got all this from a little uh, weapons pack. I got a um, Russian helmet, um, a Brody helmet, one of the German um, garbage helmets, and an American steel pot M1 helmet. Uh, got an M1 carbine here, MP44 Sten or grease gun, um, MG34 Thompson M1 A1 machine gun, Karg 98K sniper rifle. Don't know this gun. M1 Grand. Uh, Colt, and this is a T33, and an MP40 with a stock attachment. So that was pretty cool. And I guess that's it. That's all the box of mysteries has. Get in there. And uh, that was pretty cool. I hope you liked this video. Are we missing anything? No. Alright. Well, see you later on Crisis Monday.